Uh, I'm Dr. Richard Whitlock. I'm a professor of surgery at McMaster University in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. I'm one of the principal investigators of the LAOS-3 trial. Uh, today we'll be discussing a sub-study of LAOS-3 that looks at the interaction of surgical atrial ablation with left atrial appendage occlusion on the primary outcome of LAOS-3, which was stroke and systemic embolism. Yeah, so LAOS-3 was a multinational trial uh, looking at patients who are coming for cardiac surgery for another reason besides atrial fibrillation, but who had a history of atrial fibrillation. And we looked at surgical removal or not of the left atrial appendage for stroke prevention. That trial recruited 4,811 patients across 105 sites, 27 countries, and provided definitive evidence that removing the left atrial appendage during cardiac surgery reduces the early and long-term risk of stroke. So within this LAOS-3 sub-study, what we wanted to look at is the interaction of atrial ablation on the primary outcome with left atrial appendage occlusion. So the original Cox maze procedure uh, combined um, a lesion set to control the rhythm, as well as atrial appendage removal. And a question has been from the original work done by Dr. James Cox that suggested a stroke benefit, does that stroke benefit come from rhythm control or does it come from the management of left atrial appendage? And this became particularly relevant with the findings of LAOS-3 in the main paper, suggesting that there was at least a 30 3% reduction in the risk of stroke with left atrial appendage occlusion. 